Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to use e tool of Springer Nature for any accepted paper. So, if your paper is already accepted and you want to give a final touch before its publication, so you can watch this video. So, let's begin. Here we can see that they have sent us email that we can help them to just give a final touch. I mean, the most important things we need to check before publication like uh, uh, we need to check the author name and uh, affiliations and many other things we can check. So uh, in this video we will know what are important things and how to answer those questions which were asked by the different publishers like you can use any uh, way like there are two ways for in Springer Nature you can just use e proofreading system or you can just submit by email so we there would be a link we can just open this to start e proofreading we can start to, to proofreading by clicking that start proofreading so here you can click on start proofreading a new window will open using yeah here we can see that before i start to give answers of the typesetter i would like to introduce two buttons the here is the first one for editing and uh, here is another one with the nine questions yeah you can click this button to open all the questions by typesetter so Let's begin. It is Springer e proofreading system, and in the above, we can see that uh, there are home page and other, and here is the title. And here we can see that the family names are highlighted. So you need to carefully check the author name, and here are some questions which were posted by the typesetters so yeah here they have asked about one author name either you have given you you need to add its answer that whether you need to confirm um, either uh, they are both both of them they are corresponding author okay we can yeah they have said you can check the affiliation so you can carefully change because after you have submitted the final and once it is online you cannot make further changes so you have to be careful especially with the names and the affiliations and as well as your material so i would recommend you should must read once your whole paper before it is going to be online so uh, before i go to show and we answer all the questions so we can go and see how many questions they were posted yeah here is another question we need to check the headings that are already accurate so uh, easy way uh, would be another way that just we can go there on the home button and uh, there are yeah uh, like the nine questions were posted so we need to answer one by one and we need to check either the typesetter has uh, committed any mistake uh, so we need to rectify yeah here they have also mentioned there are so, some additional information like the page number they need to, to add before it publish uh, they have mentioned few references that the page information is missing so we need to answer each and every question and we need to help them before it is published so here we can go to the home button and the second way is that we can also submit the corrections by pdf and we can submit by them when you will click this uh, a file will be downloaded yeah you can open this yeah here is the first page and complete method is given like how you can submit your corrections manually by email yeah here they have given the data and they have mentioned how you can return the Corrections, it is very easy, you can just go ahead. But uh, in this video, we will be just using e proofreading tool. So, we can that is quite easy and it is easy to submit the attachments. So yeah, uh, if we go to the end of this 
paper there are also some other information and here you can just have a look of your whole paper before it is going to be online so you can check the table numbers you can check the figure legend legends and uh, size similarly you can go on with the references yeah here is the author query form you if you are using manually then you need to add remarks that we have added and you can annotate the pdf but this thing only you need to do if you are using uh, offline version by using email so because now this time we are using only online version this one you don't need so you only need to just use this e proof reading system so uh, let's start and uh, we need to answer our questions like here we want to add some notes if something is missing you can add but you cannot make changes in your results because changes cannot be made until it is being have been peer reviewed by someone so uh, it is recommended just you can use little error uh, if you need to correct them simple error you can but if you need to make something like uh, in data change you cannot and don't forget to save so you need to whatever you are going to change you need to save so after that you can click and you can add it using that option and uh, here i have quickly just added all the uh, their answer of all the questions like they have already been mentioned here we can click and we can check yeah here we have attached all their informations so similarly you can just all check all the information and you need to submit yeah they are going to confirm this so we can see that after it has been modified the article is already yeah article submitted successfully so uh, that's all so in this way you can use this proof online proofreading system now you cannot make any changes because the article has already been accepted so if you have any question please say me in the comments thank you for watching bye bye